Hello everyone, this is going to be an overview and demo of my Simplex 4001 Fire Alarm Control Panel. These panels were first produced in 1985 and discontinued around 1994. They are fixed, four zone conventional panels with one NAC. So here's our demo setup. For initiating devices, we have a 4251-20 pole station and a 2098-9577 ionization smoke detector. For notification appliance, we have a 2903-9001 light plate with a 2901-9833 horn. The panel is set on march time, so let's hit it. Now let's activate the smoke detector. Alright, cool. Let's reset the pull station. And reset the system. And we're back to normal. So real quick, let's take a look at the panel. Down here is your power supply. You got your status indicators up front. On to the right is your buttons and switches. And up the top is all your terminal blocks. You got some relays and your city connection, some enunciated terminals, your four zones, and your signal circuit, auxiliary power, and a few more terminals for the enunciator. Looking at the inside of the door here, at the bottom we have a wiring diagram. And a few more labels here. You'll notice this notch right here. This is a custom modification by whoever installed this panel. 4001s normally don't have this. Up top is our configuration options label. And right here is the label for the panel. So this is a 4001-9403. There is a 9404 model which runs on 240 volts instead of 120 volts. There is also a 4001C model, which was made for Canada. And the date reads September 7th of 1988, which will make this panel just about 35 years old. So now looking at the configuration options, we have a dip switch board, which we can use to set different options for the panel. So let's take a look at that. So the dip switches are located behind this face plate here. So take that off. There's eight different dip switches to control the panel's options. So starting from the top, switch one is your walk test. Switches two and three are for your signal coding. Switch four is for coded pulse stations on zone one. Switches five and six are for signal silence inhibit or water flow sprinkler. Switch seven is for alarm verification for smoke detectors. And switch eight is for automatic signal silence after 10 minutes. Now let's demonstrate the walk test feature. On this panel, whenever an initiating device is activated, the zone number will be pulsed on the signals. So let's demonstrate that. And let's do the smoke detector. There you go. That's pretty much how walk test works. Next, let's demonstrate the coded pole station feature. Right here is a Simplex 4263-1 coded pole station that does 221. So let's hit it.
Okay, coding's completed. So now you can reset the system. And that concludes our coded pull station demo. Now let's demonstrate the water flow sprinkler feature. The 4251 will be filling in for the water flow alarm, and the game well pole will act as the sprinkler tamper switch. So here we go. That concludes a waterfall sprinkler demo. <coughs> Lastly, let's demonstrate the alarm verification feature. The panel is verifying the alarm and it will be set after a brief delay. There we go. Now let's activate the smoke detector again. And that concludes the alarm verification demo. And that concludes the overview and demo of my 4001 fire alarm control panel. I hope this video was informative. Any comments or questions will always be appreciated. And until next time, have a nice day.